Hey, this is Tyler over here at Nissan of Greenville. I just wanted to give you a brief little overview video of this beautiful 2020 Nissan Rogue SL. Uh, it is a little bit dirty, you know, it's been sitting over here on our gravel, so dust gets kicked up and it's it's kind of dusty, but of course we would have it completely cleaned up for you. The main thing I did really just want to show you, let you see the outside of the vehicle, but really I wanted to show you the inside of the vehicle. Uh, show you number one, how big the trunk is. Show you how incredible that space is in the trunk. It's unreal. Uh, the back seats do lay down as well, so you just have a ridiculous amount of space back here. Um, these compartments down here are insulated as well, so it'll help you keep things cool or hot. Um, down here, you're also going to see these are your uh, your cloth floor mats. Those are back here still in the packaging because we do actually upgrade those for you to the uh, all-weather floor mat. They're really heavy-duty rubber floor mats. They're really easy to take care of, uh, super durable. You just hose them down to clean them off, stuff like that. Beautiful black leather interior in this thing. Tons of legroom back there, lots of space. Now up front here, there's a ton of really awesome features that I would love to go over with you. Um, I'm gonna try to just kind of cover a couple of them uh, that stand out to me without getting you know super in detail because it's just way too much to fit uh, in this short video. But number one, starting off, if I pop this thing into reverse, one of my favorite things about this vehicle, not only do you have your standard backup camera right there on the left, uh, but next to it, you've got your 360 aerial view camera. Uh, you've got cameras like under the mirrors and stuff like that that help you see all around the vehicle. That 360 view um, makes backing into tight spaces and things like that super easy. Uh, you also can use that while you are in drive. You don't even have to be in reverse. So if you're trying to just squeeze through a tight spot in general, that can really help you out. I personally love that feature. You can also uh, mess with this and change the camera angles and things like that. If I pop this up into park again, um, you've got your dual zone climate control down here. You can't have two different temperatures on each side of the vehicle. Um, you're also going to have heated seats on each side. You get a high and a low setting, again, driver's side and passenger side. Uh, electronic parking brake. You've got this auto hold feature, which is a really great feature that I love myself as well. Um, what that does, if you've got that active, say you're in like a drive through is usually where I'll use mine the most. Uh, something where you're going to be, you know, in stop and go traffic where you're constantly on the brake. If you've got that active, you don't have to manually go down here to the shifter and put this thing in park every single time you stop in order to take your foot off the brake. If you've got this thing active, you can slow down, stop, hold it at zero miles per hour when you're completely stopped for like a second. And uh, you'll see the little light come on to show you that it's that it's active now. And you can take your foot off the brake. It's And it basically puts the vehicle in park until you hit the gas again. If you hit the gas again, you'll start moving. But until then, you can take your foot off the brake, do whatever you want, and the vehicle's not going anywhere, even though you are still in drive. It makes it really easy uh, when you're in, like I say, like drive-through situations, stop and go traffic, that kind of stuff. Um, that way you're not having to constantly reach down here, put it in park, put it back in drive, put it in park. Oh, they're moving. As soon as you put it in park, you got to put it back in drive. So none of that. You can just stop. If you need to stay stopped, take your foot off the brake and you're good to go. Um, love that feature myself. Uh, also, you are going to have your Sirius XM satellite radio up here, of course. Turn that volume down. Um, you know, obviously you'll have your AM, FM radio too. Uh, CD player up there. You are going to have Bluetooth in the vehicle as well, so you can do hands-free calling. You got this voice commands button here. You can tell it to call anybody in your contacts list. Um, blind spot warnings up here. These will light up bright orange on both sides of the vehicle, whichever side somebody's on uh, in your blind spot. Those will light up for you and let you know. Uh, if you don't see that they're on and you throw on your blinker to get on, get over anyway, uh, it'll also beep at you and give you an audible warning to let you know, hey, somebody is in your blind spot. Watch out. Um, you got memory settings for the uh, seating positioning and stuff like that. So if you have multiple drivers of the vehicle, uh, you don't have to go in and manually adjust everything again. It can be as easy as the touch of a button uh, each time somebody else drives. Um, you've got a heated steering wheel as well, actually. I forgot to mention that. So in addition to the heated seats, you do have a heated steering wheel. You've got that option down here, if you can see that button. Um, you got your trunk release and everything. Uh, this right here, this is your uh, lane departure assist. Um, You've actually, it's kind of integrated. So this button here is an intelligent cruise control. Um, that, that steering assist kind of uh, ties in with that. So with this active, um, if you've got your cruise control set to say 75, uh, a couple of things it'll do, it'll automatically pick up the vehicle ahead of you and the vehicle ahead of them. So if they are going slower than you, it'll adjust your speed to keep a set following distance behind them. That way you don't have to manually go in and cancel out your cruise control, go around them, reset it back to where you want it. All you gotta do is get over if you want to or just stay behind them. 
and you don't have to do anything outside of that. So it makes everything really, really easy for you. Uh, but in addition to that, the second thing it does, it also will pick up the lanes that you're in. So if you start to veer out of your lane, it'll automatically uh, adjust the steering wheel a little bit for you. It'll vibrate it as well to let you know, alert you. Um, but it'll get your steering wheel, you know, back on course, get you back in your lane. So that's what that steering assist is for. You can turn all, any, any safety feature like that, you can turn on or off if you, if you happen to don't like it for some reason. Uh, you know, you can turn that on or off, completely optional, but they do come standard um, in this vehicle. So push button start, of course, as you can see there, just tons and tons of really cool stuff. I could go on for days. Uh, you get a Bose sound system. Um, yeah, like I said, just tons and tons of features. Uh, but please do let me know what you think so far of the vehicle, like on a scale from 1 to 10. I'd really love to hear your feedback on it. I'm really looking forward to it, and hopefully I hear from you soon.